Hello, this is Diane Lane from the Harwich Channel, and I'm here today with Cape Cod Theater Company's folks, uh, some new folks actually, <laughs> not new to the area, but new to the company. Um, this is uh, Emily Murray, who is the Director of Education and Community Outreach, is yeah, that correct? That's correct. And Trish LaRose, who is the Associate Producing Artistic Director. Uh, uh, yeah, an assistant to the producer. Assistant yeah. to the producer. Do all that admin <laughs> work. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Well, uh, we're going to talk first about what is happening at the company. We have obviously some new people here. And unfortunately, Jen Pina, who is the new artistic director, producing artistic director, was not able to join us today. We hope she will be able to in the future. But for now, we're going to talk about what's happening on the ground at the theater. Yes. And I know you have a show up right now, which has gotten wonderful reviews, Princess and the Pea yes. by Kristen Stewart. Yes. yes. Can you say a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah we have a, a beautiful fairy tale with a new spin on it. A Kristen Stewart, who I think you had in, in here a few weeks yes, ago, yes. was a wonderful playwright. I her recently. Local playwright. She wrote it, I think, 14 years ago as well. And... Um, we have new music written by Finn Pina Parker in it, and the, mm -hmm. all of the sound effects and music is done on the stage, and there's mm. a nine-year-old girl and Finn playing all the music. Mm. And the story is super sweet, and it really mm -hmm. highlights um, the kids. It really highlights the teenagers and the kids' roles, so I think it's a perfect play for us to be doing. Wonderful. Mm. And what are the dates of that? It opened last weekend, and it runs until... June 9th. June 9th. Saturdays and oh. Sundays at 2. Very good. Yeah. So it's on for a while yet? Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. And people should go and see it, because I did see a wonderful review, and I also know uh, Kristen's work. And yeah, because her job. comedic background is yes. so fascinating, yes. being a clown, and yes, so <laughs> there's this... Fat... Literally. Yeah. She, she was trained as a clown. Exactly. Yes. So there's this awesome slapstick um, mm -hmm. parts of the of the show that Emily gets to be a part of, and Jane Staub and Addison, yes. and it's hilarious. It's I also have so Jane Staub is in it. Jane Staub is, yes. She yes. Is. Oh, fun. Yeah. And my daughter's in it yes. as well. That's great. Actually. Yeah, so, so it's a whole family affair. Yeah, great for the whole family. The reviews <laughs> yes. have been awesome. Yeah, I saw. Oh, I yeah. saw the review. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So what else do you have going on? Um, after that, we have coming up next would be the Drowsy Chaperone that opens oh. at the end mm -hmm. of June. We'll yeah. run through most of July. And have then you we had have auditions for that already. Auditions, it's already cast mm -hmm. and they're starting rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And then we have our whole summer season. Yeah, it's going to be really great. And we're going to be using our outdoor space as well, mm -hmm. which through COVID, um, the theater found ways to like, you know, wanted to keep the theater alive and perform outside. So our tech director, Matt Kohler and um, volunteers made this amazing outdoor space. So yes. Robin Hood will be outside yeah. by oh, uh, Nick Nudler and Kirsten Peacock. And it's going to be very immersive, which is going to be very fun. Um, That's and, great. Yeah. yeah. Jungle Book coming up too. And Elephant and Piggy is coming back. Oh, which is, yes. Was That's a big such hit. Such a favorite. Yes. 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 Willem, so great. <laughs> Marvelous. Yeah. Yeah. Which Trish played uh, Piggy, <laughs> Piggy in the wintertime. Yeah. It was uh -huh. a lot of fun. Great uh -huh. music. Yeah. And uh, great. then we also have... Um, our fall, our spring classes are ending, and summer classes, summer mm -hmm. education classes are starting up, uh, July first, and are they, they run. already enrolled. We oh, have nice. some spots in some places. Uh -huh. we, there are a few spots open, but uh, they're very popular. Mm -hmm. They are very yes. popular, but there there is room if you want to email me at Emily at Cape Cod Theater Company dot org, and mm -hmm. I can find you a spot. But we do have some availability. Mm -hmm. The classes are super fun, and um, we would love to have anyone there. Have all what the kind there. of classes are you running this summer? We're going to have a clowning class taught by Kristen Stewart's daughter. They're going to get pies oh. thrown oh. in their faces. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're going to do some stage combat. There's mm -hmm. an experimental teen theater class. We have our mm -hmm. junior players, which happens every summer. It's our touring mm -hmm. teenage group that tours. Oh. Right. They're going to come here, actually, in August. To the for community a little show. center? To the community center. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Great. Um, do they do improv? We do do improv. We do adult improv classes throughout the school year. And in the mm. summer, we do kid improv classes. Uh -huh. And and we have eight classes That's from ages 3.5, really up to 105, mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as you want to go. Great. Yeah. So, so with the new administration, so to speak, yes. uh, have do you think there are any changes or new approaches that you're looking at? 
Um, well, just, I have been working at the theater. I grew up at the Harvard Junior Theater, actually. So did Trish. We've known yes. each other since we were eight. eight? Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so you're hardly uh, new. We're yeah. hardly However, new. However, you may be looking at new yeah. directions yes. and, and yes. expansion of certain things. I know you've had wonderful uh, vision all along. Yeah, yeah what, I think what excites us and Jen and mm -hmm. Matt, our tech director, is mm -hmm. um, the educational aspect mm -hmm. of the theater. That mm -hmm. all the time we're, we're looking at um, the kids and how we can teach them, how that we can get them to be actual theater professionals, how yes. they can go out in the mm -hmm. world and have jobs, and not just as actors, as well. Growing all in other areas, aspects. yes, absolutely, a whole person. Right. So we're so just yes. really trying to look at it as a complete teaching theater, mm -hmm. and it really it gets us going. We love it. Yes. We love the whole thought. It's of a it. wonderful concept, and it it really works. Yeah, it, it does, does work. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. And one of the other ways oh, yeah. too is just um, we can't do what we do without our volunteers. And so we mm. have amazing volunteers and we're just putting out a big call for more. <laughs> um, yeah. After yes. COVID again, it was just kind of coming back to the theater and getting people involved. So um, on our website, if you go to capecuttheatercompany.org, at the very top, there's a giving and there'll be a volunteer option. Please go visit that. Take a look at what's available. There's front of house options, which is ushering and house management. If you're interested mm -hmm. in painting, there's set painting, set construction, mm -hmm. um, some errands, which would involve like laundry. And But there's we would love just new energy and oftentimes the volunteers are the first people that you see when you enter the mm -hmm. theater and so yeah. we just have a very welcoming atmosphere um so we welcome yeah. you all to check <laughs> that out um and join us because we have a big summer social on yes. june 30th and so that would be an also a, it's a potluck it's going to be fun and if the weather holds we'll be outside a little bit so mm -hmm. be another opportunity for volunteers to come join us hear a little bit more about what we're trying to accomplish at the theater right yeah right and then volunteers can really act as ambassadors can't they? oh my goodness in the community. huge ways yes. absolutely yes. especially you know at, with our ushers and house management they are the first people that you see when you come in so um, also educating them on what we're trying to do at the theater. Like you said, it's a great way for them to talk about us in the public and yes. get more people involved. So mm -hmm. we welcome everybody, you know. And, and how do some people great find options. out about, uh, do you need to sign up for the June 30th? event is there a, a website? there will be more um uh, details the... forthcoming we just okay. kind of put out like a uh a rsvp little... rs thank you Anne. yeah so there'll be more details about that but mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be potluck entertainment i think some music and yeah. really it's going to just be a big summer kickoff so yeah it'll be a lot of fun great yeah wonderful <laughs> and uh, I would be remiss in not mentioning that I happen to know that Trish LaRose is also starring in her own one-person show, <laughs> yeah. brought back by popular demand, apparently, from last summer. Uh, and yeah. she is going to be at the uh, Cape Rep. Cape Rep doing Theater. That. Yeah, we yes. did it actually in the fall, which was a huge, it was so, it was a wonderful experience. I, I feel like it's a collective um, effort and it doesn't just mm -hmm. feel like my show. It really feels like I have. Um, well, you do share the stage. I do. I have yes. an incredible six piece band and two amazing actors and singers, yes. Anthony Texera mm -hmm. and Jess Andra. And it'll be running June 20th to July 14th. Okay. Yeah, it's my story. So you're a bit busy. <laughs> busy, yeah. I'm yes. legally blonde to Katuid, and so <laughs> lots of things coming up. Well, but, yeah. we're all one. Yes, the theater we are. world is all one. We all yeah. know each and other. We all yeah. support each yes. other. And I, you know, Cape Rep and and Wellfleet and Provincetown and Katua, yes. we are yes. a beautiful community and there's so much to offer. Yes. And how lucky are we that we live, in, you know, where it's thriving. It's really yes. great. And it's great you're all sharing your talents in different places too. Spreading it around a bit. Yes, <laughs> yes. So it's so nice to meet you, Emily. Very thank nice you so to meet much. you. And as well. Yes, nice to see Trish, you. Trish, thank you. Thanks so much for coming. This is Dinah Lane for the Harwich Channel.